And today marks six years since the Virginia Tech massacre. Flowers and wreaths were placed on each stone at the victim's memorial on school grounds. On April 16, 2007, Song Hee Cho went on a shooting spree on the Blacksburg campus. He killed 32 people, and then he killed himself. Since that day, the nation has seen tragedy after tragedy unfold, most recently, of course, yesterday in Boston. And today, the family members of the Virginia Tech victims say that it is just time to end all of this. Our Northern Virginia Bureau Chief Jeff Goldberg outside Capitol Hill tonight with their story. Jeff? Yeah, that's right, Allison. With the events of Boston on everyone's mind, this day is especially sad for those Virginia Tech families as they watch America grief yet another tragedy, another violent tragedy here at the Capitol. Flags flying at half staff as those families try to turn their grief into action. Brian R. Bloom. Every victim's name read by Peter Reed brings back the pain of Virginia Tech, but none greater than that of his daughter. Mary Karen Reed, age 19, Annandale, Virginia. People always remember about Mary is her smile. Reed joins other families and survivors outside the Capitol to mark the six-year anniversary of Virginia Tech, pausing at one point for 32 seconds in honor of the 32 victims. We had bullets coming through our door. And everybody hit the floor. Since surviving the shootings, Colin Goddard has focused his energy on gun control. Here today with families from Tucson, Aurora, and Newtown, Goddard is urging Congress to pass comprehensive background checks. It's the best step we can take as a country if we want to actually get serious about keeping guns away from dangerous people. I pray that this time is different. I truly do. Their fight will be a tough one, as many in Congress say they will stand for the Second Amendment. Criminals don't care about the laws that we pass with regard Regards to guns. But it's a fight Peter Reed will not walk away from. I really can't give up um, because I have to speak for Mary and I have to speak for other victims. The sponsors of the current gun legislation, Senators Toomey and Manchin, are still working out the details of the bill as they try to attract support. It is unknown when that bill is exactly going to be moving forward. It's very likely that the events of Boston have altered the schedule of a whole lot of business currently happening in Congress. Live on the National Mall, Jeff Goldberg, ABC 7 News.